Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome. We got something interesting going. Normally, I push the questions and answers through an iPad that is not functioning. So we're going entirely desktop. So please excuse. I will get through the game and keep it as smooth for you as possible. But there may be some turbulence. I just want to be open and honest with you right up front. Hello to all of you saying hello to me and saying hello to one another. We asked for your favorite Netflix original television show or movie in celebration of this fun special game. Great job. Shout out to our design team. Did a fantastic job on the image you see on your screen. Here are a few of your answers. We got Pyro Tempest Wing with Sonic Prime. Anime Dan loves Squid Game. Mindy 5G, Stranger Things, of course, a lot of Stranger Things fans in the comments. MP, The Signal. Henraldo loves Lupin, which is a French uh, mystery series. Is it? I think it's also an adaptation of the anime, if I'm not mistaken. Could be. Who knows? Uh, Beach Bum 2272, Grace and Frankie, the great Jane Fonda and the great Lily Tomlin together. CDMC, Virgin River. Wholesome television, but also very dark, surprisingly dark. I got too twisty and turny for me after like three seasons. I, I tapped out, but I'm glad you're still enjoying it. Tricky said Vivo, the original film, also released in theaters. Lin-Manuel Miranda does it. Again, that is a glowing review. We got Sense8 Lovers and Nola Holmes. Cobra Kai, of course, the great Cobra Kai. Love that one. And uh, ZG, Santa Clarita Diet, Magic Mama, Umbrella Academy. So many great uh, different show. Bojack Horseman, of course. Fantastic one. Ozark, another fantastic one. We just love. Carrots and Biscuits is real good, y'all, is what I'm hearing. But uh, what do you say we get into this, okay? You are playing the best streaming game around, so let's celebrate another streaming giant with an all-Netflix edition of Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Here's hoping your brain has fresh picks for you as you compete for today's grand prize, take a look. That is $1,000. And anyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice trivia questions about Netflix will split it. In this game, you learn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. If you win the game, those bonus SB you get throughout are automatically added on top of your share of that $1,000 grand prize. Otherwise, you do have to claim your SB at the end of the game in order to keep them. So you don't get the grand prize, but you still keep getting those SB. Then a claim button appears at the end. You click that, the SB are yours. Do not uh, sleep on that, please. I don't want you to walk away with no money. In this game, uh, uh, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to give yourself another chance at the grand prize. Two ways to do that. One is using SB, the other is with a free rejoin. And if you click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening, you will get free rejoins by watching videos. It's that simple. Finally, each game, we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim at least one SB in the game. Here are Monday's winners for you. Read them, congratulate them, because that is what I do. I have already credited them. You have your 100 SB apiece. Congratulations to you. I hope that got you to your gift card, your next gift card. Uh, I hope it did. If not, I bet it got you a lot closer. Everyone else, keep playing and claiming, because next time, the winner could be you. All right, the comments are buffering right now. So what do you say we just get this game going? We're going to start it right now with question. Number one, what word does Netflix use to describe their signature noise? Is it ta-dum, bing, or clang? I tried to use onomatopoeia for you there to see if maybe it would help. Almost as notorious as their simple logo is the sound you hear when Netflix loads, something they've noted by calling an entire section of their website ta-dum. Ta-dum is the answer. 83% of you getting that one right. Well done. Uh, you may have seen the little fun fact that we posted on Twitter this morning. That was a hint for this self-same question. And 
Of the 17% of you did not get that, most of you going with Bing uh, who didn't get it right, pretty much everybody coming back in. We have over 16,500 people in grand prize contention, over 17,100 playing the game. And here's good news for all of you. Every question you get right from here on out gets you one bonus SB. So here is question number two. What year did Netflix launch? Was it 1949, 1998, or 1874? What year did Netflix launch? Starting as a disruptor to the video, re video rental industry, they offered you a way to rent and return DVDs without going farther than your mailbox, which was a mind-blowing idea way back in 1998. 1998 is the answer, and ta-dum, 98% of you are moving on to question number three. This is before. Then Redbox came along afterwards, but that seems... I know it's like a point of purchase. You're at the store. Maybe you pick up a DVD, but I think getting it mailed to you is way easier. All right, let's move on to question number three now. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What color will net were Netflix DVD envelopes? Were they red, yellow, or blue? Those Netflix DVD envelopes. What color were they? Red, yellow, or blue? It's still amazing to think that you could just use a floppy envelope to send DVDs without shattering or bending them, but they did it, and it was always exciting to see that red envelope arrive in the mail. You knew your DVD was coming. Red is the answer. 92% of you getting that one right. Of course, there's a little white on that envelope, then black for the writing, but uh, red, white, and black. Red is the main color of that envelope, and it was this little sleeve would be white it would have the whole description on it and it still it blew my mind i think i i had one like way after they were doing dvds that i i think i mailed back all right that's between us let's move on to question number four worth one bonus sb if you get it right what was netflix's original name was a dvd to go easy flicks or kibble looking for the original name of netflix what was it do you know What's brilliant about the name Netflix is that it succinctly describes the idea of the site, but also worked for their transition into streaming. And you know what? I don't think Kibble had the same ring to it. I'm glad they didn't go with that one. Kibble is the correct answer. Oh my goodness, 80% of you just got eliminated from grand prize contention, but this is where the rejoins come in. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of people rejoining. And guess what? I'm right. Already over three quarters of the people eliminated coming back in. And that number will only go up. Yes, Kibble. Early name. You know, sometimes you don't just go with the first name, uh, an idea that you have. Sometimes you think about it, stew a little bit, and go, all right, what's a better thing to convey this concept? Because uh, if you don't have that, you're not going to do real well as a company. you got too much educating to do. That's a little Shark Tank tip for you. All right, let's move on to question number five now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. The Netflix series The Queen's Gambit centered around what game? Is it chess, checkers, or parcheesi? The Queen's Gambit centered around which game? Chess, checkers, or parcheesi? Anya Taylor-Joy turned in a brilliant performance as a savant in this story of addiction, grief, and love set against the world of competitive chess. She was a chess prodigy, of course. 97% of you getting that one right. Well done. Uh, that was a gripping series. And uh, I haven't revisited it, but I feel like I should because uh, I remember enjoying it a great deal. I'm thinking, I should play more chess. Let's move on to question number six, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What is the name of Ben & Jerry's Netflix-inspired flavor? Is it DVD chip, Netflix and chilled, or streaming strawberry? What is the name? They're the most for doing this, the kids would say, or they would have a couple years ago. They're the only streaming service to have the honor of a Ben & Jerry's signature flavor, and that flavor's name is a play on a date with the service, Netflix and Chilled. That's right, Netflix and Chill is what people do. Netflix and Chilled uh, is what they eat out of a little pint container uh, on their date, on their Netflix date, you know, on the Netflix portion of it. Anyway, 86% of you getting that one right. Of the 14% who did not get it right, about 10% of you coming back in. We are down to our final four questions with over 10,000 people still in grand prize contention. Next question worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number seven. What was the first Netflix original series? Was it House of Cards, Hemlock Grove, or Lilyhammer? Looking for the first 
Netflix original series. House of Cards was their first runaway award-winning hit, but it wasn't their first original series. That honor belongs to the Stephen Van Zant series, Lily Hammer. <laughs> Lily Hammer is the answer. Only 11% of you getting that one right. The majority of you going with House of Cards because it's probably the first one you remember. But yes, Steve Van Zant is, I believe, an American detective who goes to uh, Lily Hammer, Norway to uh, to solve a mystery or solve several mysteries. I, my dad watched it and he would talk about it all the time. And I saw it once in a while and I was like, there's little Stevie Van Zant. Looks real weird without a bandana on his head. He looks, and also, it looks like the guy from The Sopranos is uh, now solving crimes instead of committing them. But of the 89% of you who got eliminated, we only got about 2,000 people back in. We are down to 3,200 people in grand prize contention with only three questions left to go. Let's move on to question number eight, worth one bonus. F uh, SB, if you get it right, here it is, Q8. Squid Game was made and takes place in what country? Is it Denmark, South Korea, or Canada? Where does Squid Game take place? It was also made there. This riveting series about a deadly game where people are competing for life-changing money got a reality show spinoff, which I'm watching, and is getting a sequel, which will return to South Korea to continue the story. It is a South Korean uh, uh, series, of course. 98% of you getting that one right. Well done. I could not have guessed the ending to that one. You could have given me a hundred years and I wouldn't be able to guess the ending. If you haven't watched it yet, this is your uh, wake up call to do it. Let's move on to our second to last question where the one bonus SB, if you get it right. Here it is, Q9. In Bird Box, Sandra Bullock's character keeps which part of her body covered to protect herself? Is it her mouth, her ears, or her eyes? There were billboards for this everywhere. Even if you didn't see the film, you probably know the answer. A nameless entity is overtaking the world and decimating the population. And if you see it, you die. Which is why she and her family wear blindfolds over their eyes to protect themselves. That's right. Their eyes, their eyes. 2,942 of you have made it this far. You are ready for our final question. But first, quick reminder that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. Number one is through the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is the quick, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Both will get you SB towards your daily goal. Also... Share the joy of earning free gift cards, why don't you? Refer your friends and family to Swagbucks today. If they earn 300 SB in their first month, you'll get a $3 bonus. Plus, that's in addition to earning 10% of their earnings for life. It is a win-win. I have referred a lot of friends and family to Swagbucks, and uh, I've done very well. I know a lot of people who have referred a ton of people and done really well. That's passive income, and not only that, but you're doing a service to your community by showing them how to get free gift cards for themselves. That's 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 a good deed, folks. Okay? Okay. All right, we are down to 2,969 people in grand prize contention. Over 16,800 have stuck around to the end, and there's one more bonus SB up for grabs if you can correctly answer our final question. Here is question number 10. What Netflix original takes place in Indiana? Is it Virgin River, Stranger Things, or Wednesday? Which of those takes place in Indiana? Show in Indiana, show in Indiana. We're all waiting for the second half of the final season to hit so we can finally reach resolution for the kids from Hawkins, Indiana, who captured our imaginations in Stranger Things. That's right. 2,802 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize today. Well done to you. Let's meet just a few of these grand prize winners, shall we? Who do we have? We got Moto Dragon 2044, Michelle C. K Scobie. We got Willa 5150, Jojo Luffy, and Rain Monster 138. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners. Each of them are taking up 36 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses they earned along the way. And congratulations to you who uh, earned bonus SB and claimed them just now. You know what to do with all these new SB you have in your account, of course. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You've done a great job so far. Come back tomorrow for our Wednesday game. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we will see you then, my friends.